Oh, it's Stacy. Hang on. Okay, yes, it is recording. <laughs> Um, okay, so I wanted to do a little update because I did go, um, my makeup is literally all over my face. Hang on. <laughs> Y'all, I've been so emotional. It is, like, ridiculous. Like, I've been just crying, just, like, outbursts of randomness. It's craziness. But, um, yeah. Okay, so I want to give you an update on, <sighs> on the OHSS. And my doctor's appointment today. So I went to the doctor this morning, uh, 9:45, to get my week, like a weekly um, checkup, and see how my ovaries are doing, how I'm doing, all that kind of stuff. And today was pretty crazy. I might have to say. Okay. So first off, today would be. I still don't know. If I were pregnant, today would be exactly four weeks, which is crazy. Um, because I still won't know, I mean, definitely until next Monday when I'm supposed to start. So I won't know until I'm like, I would be five weeks pregnant. That's crazy. But um, yeah, so I woke up today. I felt fine when I first woke up. I was like, oh my gosh, I think it's gone. I'm not hurting. I'm not nauseous. Nothing like that. I felt great. So can you see me hang on <laughs> and um joseph was like that's my husband he was like you should just still go to get your blood taken and to see you know what's going on with your ovaries and why you're still hurting he said because yesterday you know you had a hundred point four fever you were really really sick and you know he said you've been having a fever for two weeks and i was like yeah you're right so i ended up going and when i first get there i go to ultrasound and get a trans vaginal ultrasound which is I think also called a sonogram it's when they like stick it up in you or whatever so yeah they're not very comfortable they're not painful they're just not very comfortable um but yes yeah, so they did that i asked her if she's all anything like a sack like a gestational sack or like anything like that and uh she was like no i don't see anything but it would be too early and i was like oh okay and um she's like i do and then she looked at my ovaries and she was like your ovary one of them looks like it's gone down but one of them is still huge and I was like, oh, great, you know. So then I go see the doctor. Well, um, doctor was like, because um, this is the first time I've seen my doctor since I've had the syndrome or whatever. And she, yeah, it was, I don't know. I, I think I'll leave one part out. But anyways, um, yeah, so she basically just looked at my ultrasounds and talked to me. And I asked her, I was like, why do you, why is it that the other doctor, which she is so sweet. But I was like, why do you think the other doctor was so adamant on the fact that I was pregnant? You know, because she was like, oh, you're totally pregnant, you know, with multiples. We just have to wait and see, you know, the tests. And I was just like, whoa, like what? Like, how do you know? And it got me really excited, you know, y'all know that. Um, and she was like, well, the reason um, it, the doctor said that or thinks that is just because of the hyperstimulation. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, well, whatever. And she also let me know, and this is an important lesson for y'all, anybody taking fertility drugs. Okay, so normally when you take fertility drugs, they monitor you. Um, to make sure that you're not producing like multiple follicles and things like that basically keep you from getting really sick like I've gotten well my doctor's nurse practitioner is actually the one that wrote me the prescription uh, not my doctor and so the doctor and I discussed that and um, I actually felt like I don't know. I just felt like, I don't know. For some reason, I felt like it was my fault. Like, I don't know why, but I feel like it's my fault. And she's like, no, it's not your fault at all. She's like, I'm just very frustrated with so-and-so because she said, I think, or I like when you take any kind of fertility drugs, you need to be monitored because of this reason. And I was like, I totally agree. So the nurse 